now and then I would pinch myself and think, did I really marry this man that I have been attracted to for so long? Susan and Don O'Boyle, both 73 years old, are looking to celebrate their 50th anniversary in August. They have some advice for younger couples and singles on love and marriage. Um, you know, find the right person. Don't be in a hurry. Um, we certainly weren't. <laughs> uh, and then spend some time thinking about what your life together is going to be. Uh, that first excitement of knowing that you love this person. And then, like we said before, communicating how you feel. But not everything was smooth sailing. One limb almost changed the course of their story. Perhaps the worst thing that ever happened to us was a significant health crisis that she had uh, about seven years ago. We were traveling in Europe and uh, she had an uh, intestine rupture and um, I thought we were going to lose her. They have been in their current home for 43 years, but are looking to move closer towards the Northwestern campus on Hinman Avenue. Very hard. I, I'm not sure how we'll, how we'll do walking out the door for the last time. They are currently in the process of packing away their memories. Part of those memories are the pictures of their lives together from kindergarten to now. Having surpassed their struggles, both have settled into a routine together and look forward to the celebration of not only Valentine's Day, but a lasting 50-year love. Bailey Williams, Medill, 2012.